Lawrence Ellen Holstein, Community Program Manager from Pierce Cedar Creek Institute. In Michigan, when we think of springtime, we think of mushrooms, and more specifically, we think of morels. So when you're looking for morels, people get really confused on what's a morel and what is not a morel. So when I go out and look for morels, I think of the mnemonic device called PASS. All right, so when I talk about PASS, when you're looking at a morel, when you're looking at the cap of the morel, you want to P, look for pits. You do not want a wrinkled cap, you want a pitted cap. All right, that A in PASS. You want to see how the cap is attached, A, to the stem. So in a morel, if you cut the morel in half, you can see that the cap is going to be attached at the base of the stem. If you see more like a lampshade type attachment, so the cap looks like it's attached at the top to the stem, that is not a morel. All right, so S. The other thing that you need to look for in the stem is that you want a hollow part to the stem. If there's a cottony substance inside that stem, that is not a morel. So if it's pitted, if it's attached at the base, if the stem is hollow, then it passes. It's a morel here in Michigan. In Michigan, we have a few different types of morels. We have black morels, and those tend to come up first. We also have yellow or gray morels. We also have morels that are called half-free morels. So those are morels that basically it kind of, the stem goes up a little bit, so it hangs free just a little bit from the stem, but the stem doesn't attach all the way at the top. We also have some look-alikes here in Michigan. So those look-alikes may be your beefsteak. You might have a couple of verpas, which is the early false morel, or your wrinkled thimble cap morel. Those are some of your look-alikes, but those are gonna be cottony on the inside of the stem. Those are gonna attach at the top like a lampshade, and those just are not gonna be pitted on the cap. In spring, we also have a lot of other cool mushrooms that are coming up. So you're gonna get your dryad saddle or your pheasant back. You're gonna have turkey tails, you're gonna have oysters. So there's lots of other cool mushrooms to look for here in the spring. To help you look for them, I've made a mini guide and this goes through what mushrooms are out there. It goes through when mushrooms might come up. It also goes through many different mushroom forms. So go out there and discover Michigan's mushrooms.